Hello friends, welcome you all. In previous lecture, we are discussed impurities in aggregate, then effect of impurities in aggregate, then grading of aggregate that is well graded aggregate, uniformly graded aggregate, fine aggregate, and then the properties of fine aggregates that is size, source, shape, moisture content, cleanliness, bulk density, fineness modulus, specific gravity, silt content, and bulking. And in that we are discuss the fineness modulus of fine aggregate by sieve analysis that is what is meant by fineness modulus then what is the procedure of finding fineness modulus now in this lecture we are going to discuss the grading zone of sand by sieve analysis so this gradation refers to the particle size of distribution of aggregates okay so this grading is very important property of aggregate used for making concrete in view of its packing of particles resulting in the reduction of voids okay so this is the uh, this is uh, turn influences the water demand and cement content of concrete okay so this grading is described in terms of cumulative percentage of weight okay cumulative percentage of weight passing a particular is sieves for that we are referring the IS 3831970 that specifies four ranges of zones. Here we can see these four ranges of zone that is zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four for uh, fine aggregates. So this gives okay this table we can see gives the range of percentage of passing for each zone. Here we can see the IS use designations. And percentage passing for grading zone 1, grading zone 2, grading zone 3, and grading zone 4. According to this grading zone, that is zone 1 and 2, we are using this uh, the safer for the concreting purpose or RCC purpose. Zone 3 grade sand we are using for plastering purpose, and uh, zone 4, that is very fine sand, we are rejected. Okay, we are not using this zone 4 grade sand okay so next is let us see the one one of the example for determination of fineness modulus okay so here is the statement of example determine the fineness modulus of a sample of a fine aggregate for the following observation and the total weight of sample is 1000 grams okay so total weight is given that is 1000 grams here a uh, range of ISUs is given in uh, descending order that is 4.75 mm ISU, 2.36 mm, 1.18 mm, 600 micron, 300 micron, 150 micron, 75 micron and lastly pan and the weight written on these sieves. So the first uh, in uh, 4.75 mm ISUs 14 grams weight is written then 2.36 128 grams weight is written on this sieve okay then 1.18 it is 266 uh, weight written on sieve then 285 154 84 34 and last in pan 35 grams of sample is there so let us see what is the answer of this uh, statement so the sieve size is given in one column weight retain is given okay this two column is already given in problem statement so first we have to calculate the cumulative weight retain okay we know the weight retain on each is sieves okay so calculate the cumulative weight retain so how we can calculate okay so firstly in uh, is sieve 4.75 mm 14 gram weight is retained okay so we take the 14 so this 14 plus 128 gram written on 2.36 mm so add these two that is 14 plus 128 so it is 142 grams then this 142 plus add this 266 which is written on 1.18 mm ISC. so this 142 plus 266 it is 408 okay so likewise Add this 408 plus 285 that is 693, then 693 plus 154 that is 847, then 847 plus 84 that is 931, 
and 931 plus 34 that is 965 and lastly this 965 plus 35 that is total 100 1000 okay so this is the cumulative weight retained in grams okay now we have to find out the percentage cumulative weight retained okay so how we can calculate it this so percentage cumulative weight retained calculated by this cumulative weight retained divided by total weight of sample so the total weight of sample is what 1000 gram okay so 1 point sorry 14 divided by 1000 multiply by 100 we have to calculate in percentage okay so that is 14 divided by 1000 multiply by 100 we get 1.4 okay so let us see second one that is 14.2 okay how we can calculate this that is 142 divided by 1000 multiply by 100 we get 14.2 okay likewise 408 divided by 1000 multiply by 100 we get 40.8 okay like we likewise we are calculating this okay and we know we have to calculate this percentage community weight retained up to 150 micron isc okay okay so from 75 micron and the pan this is the silk content which are which we are not taken into account okay so we are calculating this percentage community weight retained up to 150 micron isc okay and lastly some <coughs> some of this cumulative weight retained up to 150 micron isc so add this that is 1.4 plus 14.2 plus 40.8 plus 69.3 plus 84.7 and lastly 93.1 so after adding these all we get the total sum of the percentage of community weight retained is 303.5 gram sorry 303.5 in percentage okay <coughs> then how we can calculate the fineness modulus so the fineness modulus called calculated by the formula this summation percentage community weight retain up to 150 micron ISCs divided by 100 okay so this uh, summation we are dividing by 100 we get the fineness modulus here we can see fineness modulus is equal to 303.5 divided by 100 that is fineness modulus is equal to 3.035 okay so in our case we are calculating the fineness modulus is 3.035 if we have we have to classify the sand okay according to the fineness modulus that is uh, we are looking for here okay okay this classification if we have to classify this sand the if this fineness modulus in between 2.2 to 2.6 we call as fine sand okay if it is in between 2.6 to 2.9 we are called as medium sand and after that that is 2.9 to 3.2 we are called as coarse sand okay so in our case our value of fineness modulus is 3.03 means it is lies between the through 2.9 to 3.2 means we are classifying the sand is coarser sand okay so let us see the next problem <laughs> here we can see the statement of second problem that is determine the fineness modulus of fine aggregate from the following data so the initial weight that is total weight is given that is 500 gram okay sieve sizes given in mm and some in microns okay and then the percentage sorry weight written given in a gram okay so write this uh, from a table write in first column that is sieve size second weight written that is in gram third one cumulative weight written that is in also gram and lastly the percentage cumulative weight written okay so this first two column is already given in problem statement that is <coughs> sieve size 4.75 mm weight retained on these ISCV is 10 gram okay then 2.36 mm ISCVs weight retained on these ISCV is 50 grams then 1.18 mm weight retained on these ISCV is 50 gram likewise the total weight given that is 500 grams okay in pan that is 20 gram sample is there okay 
so the total weight retained is 500 gram so the calculate the cumulative weight retained okay so how we can calculate first we take this 10 mm which is written on 4.75 mm okay so this 10 plus 50 okay which is written on 2.36 mm ISUs so this 10 plus 50 is 60 then 60 plus 50 that is 110 mm 110 plus 90 that is 200 mm and 200 plus 180 which is equal to 380 mm and 380 plus 100 that is 480 mm and lastly 480 plus 20 that is 500 that is total weight 500 gram okay so next we have to calculate the percentage cumulative weight retained so how we can calculate this we know the formula percentage cumulative weight retained is equal to the cumulative weight retained that is 10 divide by total weight total weight top sample is 500 gram so this 10 divide by 500 multiply by 100 we get this value 2 okay so the first uh, isu that is 4.75 mm isu percentage cumulative weight retain is 2 okay this is 2 in percentage okay so how we can calculate let us see once again first this uh, cumulative weight retained on this 4.75 mm isu that is 10 divided by total weight of sample that is 500 and the multiply by this both to 100 okay we get the 2 okay similar way for 2.36 mm isu cumulative weight retained is 60 divided by 500 multiply by 100 we get value 12 percent okay then 110 divided by 500 multiply by 100 we get value 22 likewise we are calculating up to a 150 micron isu okay so lastly that is uh, cumulative percentage weight retain on 150 micron isu is this 480 divided by 500 multiply by 100 we get the 96 percent okay and then we have to calculate the summation of these all percentage cumulative weight retained so after adding these 2 plus 12 plus 22 plus 40 plus 76 plus 96 we get summation is 248 percent okay so we know the formula of finest modulus of sign that is summation of percentage cumulative weight retained up to 150 micron isu divided by 100 so dividing this uh, summation of cumulative weight percentage we get the finest modulus so 248 divided by 100 the finest modulus of sand is 2.48 and we are classifying this sand as in between that is it is lies between 2.2 to 2.6 so it is the fine sand okay so hope you will understand today's both problem Thank you.